Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it has been quite a while since I uploaded last, but you guys have already read the title and you are already aware of where we're driving right now. I'm gonna be getting yet again another tattoo, but not just another like one of these small tattoos that I have. I have a couple if you watched my previous videos. I'll link them all down below and I am gonna be getting my first like big tattoo. It's gonna be like kind of on the hand going down to the forearm. It's gonna be kind of like a half sleeve just on the back side. And I'm super excited, but also kind of nervous, but not as nervous as I thought I'd be. I'm with my boyfriend, Darian, and I have a 4 p.m. appointment, so I will see you guys there. So I actually have not seen the exact design that I'm gonna be getting. I showed her an inspiration picture and I gave her all my family's birth flowers and she's gonna kind of curate and customize my own for me. So I'm gonna go in and see what she has brought up for me. about an hour and a half um it looks amazing we're taking a half all the outlining is done so we're gonna move on to shading after this but the lines are so crisp and clean it looks amazing i'm so excited to see yeah. the final result So it has now been a couple of weeks. I wanted to wait for the tattoo to completely heal. I also went back for a touch-up on the hand part for the vine because you usually need touch-ups for this area and also like finger tattoos. I went for like three touch-up for these and they're still not as pigmented and like bright as I want them to be. I might go back for a touch-up. I'm not sure yet. This tattoo is definitely my favorite tattoo. I just love getting it in every photo, showing it with every outfit. It is just it's amazing. The work is amazing. The style. I love literally every single thing about it. So here's the close-up of it. For those who don't know what this actually is, it's all the birth flowers of my family. So the two on the top are carnations and it's for January, which is for my mom. The middle one is a rose for June and that was for my sister Carly. And then the water lily right above the butterfly is actually for me and my dad. We both are born in July. The butterfly doesn't really signify or represent anything. It was kind of just a part of the design. Lots and lots of people, when I showed this tattoo on TikTok, were asking for my inspiration pictures that I showed, and here they are. So my artist kind of just like took this and designed it with my own birth flowers and like made it my own with like the same style and arrangement. And then she also freehanded the vine that goes up to my pointer finger, which I think is my favorite part of the tattoo. I always wanted like a hand piece and it was definitely the spiciest, hardest 
most painful part of the tattoo so it was just enough for me i don't think i'd be able to get like a full hand tattoo i was looking into something like this but since i went through something smaller and i know what the pain is like i can tell you right now i would not be able to sit through this a pain level for everything overall like combined into one i would say is like an eight eight and a half maybe even a nine like i always explain with all of my tattoos it depends on what part you're getting tattooed obviously the hand was like a 12 out of 10 i was literally sitting there like cursing in my chair like it was so bad but then places like more like here weren't so bad back by the elbow right here like this flower was pretty bad like probably a 9 10 and it was like a three and a half hour session so i honestly do not know how i was able to sit through that literally the second the needle hit my skin like when i first got there i literally i was like i cannot sit through this for three and a half hours straight because like the pain it's definitely durable like for any tattoo all of my tattoos like you can sit through them without crying or without even making a face but it's the fact that like you know now that that needle has touched your skin and there's a mark there you literally have to go through with it and like three and a half hours is like a long time to like just be continuously going through something that doesn't feel good like almost pain the second she was finished with the tattoo hurt more than the actual tattoo itself like it was just so irritated and it just felt horrible especially because like you like move this part of your arm a lot and like you don't realize how much like the skin here moves when like you rotate your hand or you do like regular everyday things and i told myself that i would not go back and get a big tattoo again not because i don't love it but because it was just so painful and to like willingly put yourself through that i was like no i'm not doing this again but now that i've had like a couple weeks almost a month to sit with it on my body i love it more and more every single day and i definitely would go back and get another one now that like the pain is over with um i am probably gonna add something to this area right here just so when you look at the tattoo from the front view it is like kind of like a half sleeve in the front um like when you look at it here i love how this looks i also really love how this like vine um or flower part here kind of goes up to my other no rain no flowers tattoo which obviously like matches the same which is why i wanted this exact piece in this spot in the future i might add something to this area to make like a complete half sleeve um i'm just not sure of that at this moment in time i might also get a full sleeve in the future but um since it is like my first year or two of having tattoos i want to sit with meaningful things things that can't change things that i do want on my body forever just to make sure that they really are something that i want there forever with all that being said here's my artist's information she is so amazing and super talented i would definitely go check her out if you're interested in getting a tattoo if you're around the easton bethlehem nazareth allentown area anything around there i would honestly travel to go to her her fine line is amazing shading literally everything and she's so sweet i felt super comfortable replacing this tattoo as many times as i wanted to make sure it was perfect for me she was a new artist that i went to since she came to the bethlehem location that i usually go to and i'm definitely going to be going to her for all of my future tattoo wants and needs i actually went to her for a tattoo a week prior a super small tattoo on like my back ankle it's just a super simple fine line blessed going up the leg in a really pretty cursive font i actually went to the shop for a new piercing which is this mid helix right here and i walked out with a tattoo no i'm kidding i've never gotten an impulsive tattoo all of my tattoos are things that i've sat on for a while things that i've wanted but she just happened to be the one in shop when i went and that was when i met her so yeah definitely go check her out even if you're not interested in getting a tattoo definitely follow her instagram she posts really cool stuff on there all the time of her work and yeah that was it for this tattoo vlog sorry that i haven't been really uploading as much recently i have a couple videos that need to go up if you see the video after this without this tattoo it's because it was supposed to be uploaded a while ago it was literally from the summertime i also have a fall room tour to film and get up for you guys there is going to be a lot of coming with the seasons fall halloween christmas all that is coming up so that is when i usually post the most on my channel so get ready for that and subscribe and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i love you all so so much and bye guys